Conspiracies to me are just a fact of life. I have at various times in my life been under surveillance. I have at various times in my life been tapped. I'm the guy riding on the subway who, when I sit down, I look and I, and I ascertain the threat level. I ended up coming to DC really in part because of the political times. I got essentially a series of two fellowships that brought me to Washington, D.C. to work for a United States Senator and then ended up uh, as an investigative reporter for our syndicated columnist Jack Anderson. I'd always been fascinated by power and I'd always been fascinated by literature and writing. To be able to combine those two fascinations almost requires me to be in a geography where they play out every day. So I had no idea how to write a novel. I thought, well, there's no other choice but to just do it. The result of that was Six Days of the Condor. The 70s were a massive era of paranoia. And if you write about the CIA, you'll be unpatriotic, you'll be you know, blacklisted, you'll be targeted, indicted, or you'll just disappear off a street corner. By just reflecting the paranoia, I was able to create a book and a story that you can find parallels to now in the 21st century, too, with our paranoia that we have about terrorism and the environment. To me, writing is like a cross between a heroin addiction and sex. It's just so powerful that I have to do it. Sometimes it feels like dancing, sometimes it feels like a combat art. It is a feeling that you're not alone. It's you and the story. It's you and the characters. It's you and that wonderful process. You're not alone except in the physical sense. The picture shows you all by yourself in the room. If it's a good day, you've got an army in there.